Hey everybody, welcome. It is that time of the week again. It seems like it has been a long week and I'm sure a lot of you are feeling that way. Um, welcome to our self-care and mental health break with myself, Lindsay and Miss Patty. Um, I'm really excited as always that you all have taken the times out of your day, whether you're watching us live or you're watching us pre-recorded. We really appreciate it and we hope that what we're doing on week 7,365, whatever it is now, um, that we are hopefully making a difference in your life and giving you some skills and some things that can help you cope and get through some of these days that have been behind us and that are ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my friends on. Please, as always, like and share. Um, give us hearts, give us love. We are also live on YouTube. So if you have people that don't have Facebook, please general um, send them over to Rose Dynasty's YouTube and we'll be there. So let's welcome Lindsay and Patty. Hey. Hi, ladies. <laughs> Lindsay, I know uh, you end up still ended up in the middle and you still had to move after I was like, don't move. <laughs> it's going to happen. It just, I, I, it, it, it's it impossible. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's going on with you two? Oh, I think we oh, <laughs> you froze for a second. <laughs> Me or y'all? I don't no, know. Lindsay, exactly. I saw Lindsay. I did? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay. The weather's here. The weather here is a little not so great, so it, I might have some connection issues. So okay. Yeah. If we lose you, we'll wait for you to come back. It's okay. Thanks. What's going on? What's what's new with you? Mm -hmm. um, slammed, which is a good problem to have, but at the same time, it is also an in, you know indication that people are really needing some mental health treatment right now. Um, I have a lot of people reaching out to me that, like I said before, are not necessarily usually of my like population, um, and so it's it's just proof to me that this is a huge need right now. So it it's it's a lot for us in the community, and so this has been what I've been looking forward to all week. <laughs> I agree. I agree hundred percent. What about you, Patty? Um, my week's been a little bit calmer. I have been practicing what I have been preaching all these, what was it? 5,871 weeks you said, or something like that. Um, and I decided to take a week off for some self care. Um, I enjoy this, so I consider this self care too. So, just everyone out there watching, know that as counselors, as humans, you know, we do practice what we're telling you. We're not just telling you to do it and not doing it ourselves. Hopefully, all counselors work that way, but I can speak for myself and I'll speak for Lindsay because I know she does it as well. Is that we do that um, to avoid like what we call imposter syndrome, which is putting on that mask like everything's fine. You know, if you need a break, take a break. That is really important. And you get on to me all the time about that. And I'm learning. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to feel like the mama here, mama. <laughs> Well, all mothers need some mothering too. We know that. It's, um, it's so important to remember that you know, self-care is not selfish. Right. But that's, you, know, you just have to keep telling yourself that. Self-care is not say selfish. Say that again. Say that one more time. Self-care is not selfish. I'm going to make a banner of that just because yeah. why? Because that is that is so good. That is the, the analogy we often use is if anybody's ever been on a plane and if even you are full of flying and you've at least in the movies, they tell you when the oxygen drops, put it on yourself. Even if you are with your children, your significant other, a family member, whomever you're with, put it on yourself because if you're not breathing, you're not helping nobody. I, so this is true. again, it, you know, it's not being selfish. It's if we don't fill our tank, we have nothing to give. You know, and, and on that note, I actually had, I received a message from someone this morning. Um, and I know she won't mind me sharing this. I hadn't seen her and her child in probably three or four weeks. And they're always <laughs> on our broadcasts. They're always checking on us, um, like story time and, and stuff. And their first was an apology that they took some time for self-care. And she went back and watched, if you don't know, on Sunday, I read The Giving Tree. And she says, I have felt like the tree that I had nothing left to give. And I had to take some time yeah. away from social media. I had to take some time with just me and my family and take care of myself. And I was like, 
first of all, thank you for, for feeling that you needed to apologize, but you don't. And I think that's a, a great thing that you took that time, you know, to do that. And, and of course they're like, well, the good thing is, is my little one gets to watch all the story times over the last few weeks in one day. And, you know, so it was, it was really cool to, to hear that because I think, I think we all need that. We all need to know that. And just like you said, you feel like you're being the mama, even us, even us motherly figures, even counselors, even doctors, even everybody needs that self-care. Everybody needs that time to recharge. And 100% I agree that always confused me on the airplane of like, of course, why I know, I know that I need to grab oxygen first. Cause again, if I'm not breathing, I can't help the other people. So I think that's a great analogy. Um, again, welcome everybody that's joining us. Hi, Jennifer. Good afternoon. I'm glad you set your timer. Um, yeah. Also, if you guys didn't notice that um, we, I was able to get this set up and it was kind of a countdown. So that was really cool. Um, trying out some new things to kind of help save me some time each day. So um, hopefully that helped you all kind of give a reminder. Um, I see we're having a lot of people join again, give us those hearts and likes, share it with your friends and family. Um, I know we have some activities yes. uh, that I definitely want to get into. Um, uh, we were talking beforehand in our, in our, yes. our hangout meeting um, about some things. Uh, there's a lot of things that are in the forefront right now and I'm going to let you say it Patty. And then I'm yes. going to kind of piggyback a second and then we're going to move on to what we're going to do today. Okay. So um, as we were talking, we know that right now things are, to put it mildly, quite chaotic. Um, on my page, I actually posted on Peaceful Counseling's page because I felt like this summed up a lot of how people are feeling right now. Um, and I wanna make sure that we address it, but we are going to focus on the self-care piece. Um, but the post said, if you're li you, you are living through a pandemic and a historical revolution, please do not beat yourself up if your mental health isn't the best right now. And I think that that is how a uh, I know Lindsay and I are getting calls. You know, we're seeing that reflected in in people reaching out for help. And, you know, as I said, when we were backstage is self-care, coping skills, support networks are phenomenal. And I, and I beg you all to please use those. But in these current times, if you're still struggling, call your insurance company, find a counselor, on your plan, um, reach out to Jason who can reach out to us or you can reach out to us. Uh, you know, he puts our contact information on every week where we can help you find support groups. We can help you find a counselor. You know, that is what we're doing this for is we understand that these times are nothing that any of us have ever been through. And even though we may have been through parts to have it all together is a totally different, you know, reality. So, you know, I, I just want to make sure we address it so we can have fun. Um, but want it, want it known that if you are struggling, please, please, please contact your insurance company, reach us, reach mama, you know, we will find you the services you need. But Absolutely. as I've said every week at this time, practice kindness and patience with yourself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I'm, I piggyback on that. Listen, we're in history right now that is never, we talk about history that does repeat itself and there are things in history that do, but we are yeah. seeing historical events that have never happened before. Exactly. You know, I mean, example, you know, I'm sure the Gulf Coast is going to be preparing for a tropical storm. Yeah. So not only they, are they facing tropical storm weather, they're facing a pandemic, they're facing, you know, racism, they're facing all this stuff that's happening. There, this has never, ever, ever happened no. before. No. We are facing something that's never done. And we're all learning and we're all trying. But yes. I, as, as we said at the beginning of this and continue to say self-care is so important. Because you can be an activist, you can be a fighter, you can be a counselor, you can be whatever you are. If you're not taking care of yourself, you can't be that best person for the people that you need to be. So, awesome. Um, finally liked, oh, Jennifer said she finally liked your page. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. I'm ready for this activity. Like, yes. Yay. Paper and crayons or color pencils, correct? Yeah, um, paper, just plain, again, I'm just using plain white printer paper, and then you're going to need about four to five colors. Any, if you can, crayons, again, crayons, markers, color pencils, um, I don't know if paint will work super great with this one, I mean, if you have, like, paint markers, sure, 
But um, typically I use, I just like markers for everything. So I have markers. So I don't know if we want to give people a few minutes to go in and grab all the goodies. Yeah, we'll give you all a, a, a moment to go grab some goodies, some stuff to do this with if you want to participate. Um, you know, we're going through the, we were talking and we're kind of, ex I just think I should expand on this a little bit too. Talking about, you know, the pandemic and everything that's going on, you know, we've, we've, we've began to return to a, and I use quotes, a, a normalcy yeah. never seen before. Um, and a lot of us feel that there's a kind of normal. Um, you know, I yeah. go to work every day and I wear a mask for eight, nine hours a day. Um, we're in close contact with people. Um, my salon and I, not because I work there, but the truth is probably cleaner than most doctor's offices. I mean, listen, we are cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning even more. Um, you know, but there's still, it seems like a lot of guards are being dropped. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not a doctor, you know, I know none of us are, but we understand the consequences sometimes of that. So I think I always just want to reassure people, please be safe, be, be wise. If you're in public, wear your masks. I don't care if you think it does well or not, it's better than nothing, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and I think it's a smart idea, but I also think you need to definitely consider um, getting a support group. Mm -hmm. Getting uh, whether it's a counselor, whether it's people that are in your life that will bring positivity to you, surround yourself with love and light, surround yourself with positivity, surround yourself with, with people that are going to encourage you to make you a better you. And I still think I always say that, and I still think it's it's important. What do y'all think about that? Well, and I was just a lot of work. <laughs> Both of you, I think, said the same thing. <laughs> Lindsay, go first. I was just going to say that, again, I think even um, participating in things that maybe you don't normally participate in, like I watched, like I said I, to you, Jason, earlier, I watched the Rose Dynasty teen talent show and it's not, I don't have kids, so it's not something I would normally do, but it was so much fun. And I, the whole time I was like, I want to play too. I want to play too. <laughs> so giving yourself different kinds of breaks. It's yeah. still a good idea too. I think that's good. Absolutely. Patty. What I was saying is that when you were talking about the support network is, is hence that support word. Um, make sure that the group is providing you the support that you need. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, by the way, happy pride month, everybody, Yay! you know, just because it's an LGBT group, it may not be your group for you, okay. you know, so find one that actually supports you. Um, you know, I know I'm in like a COVID quarantine cook, you know, group. Why? Because heck, I need to eat something different, right? I'm, I, I'm not eating out, so I need to find something new. Um, you know, or, or like Lindsay said, trying something new. Uh, those who've been watching know I'm a crafty little person, but I've never done miniatures. I bought my first miniature. Why? Because I can. It's the cutest right? little doll ever. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm trying new things. You know, and that this is a good time for a lot of the that introspective look at, you know, what what does interest me? You know, maybe I'm tapping into stuff that I haven't done in the last five years, ten years, twenty years, thirty years. You know, what what are find out new things about you, and and that shows personal growth. I yes, you know what I did is I was a gamer when I was younger, and I tell the kids all the time that I'm a gamer by proxy now because they usually give me headaches. Uh -huh. So I got one of the miniature. Um, it looks like the old school NES. But yep. it has it has like six hundred games on it. Yeah, yeah. I've been literally the other night. I was like, okay, I just want to play games. I turned my phone off and I just played games, and I sucked just as bad as I did then. But uh -huh. it was just something different, yeah. coloring and drawing, something different. And I love that we, we're all definitely finding out new things about ourselves. And I think that's great. Um, just like you, Lindsay, it made you want to be a lip syncer, right? You just want to yes. go out and lip sync now with the drag queens. Yeah. <laughs> And that's great. And I saw a lot of people did watch that. And if y'all didn't see it, please go back and watch it. Our teens are amazing. We raised fourteen hundred dollars for it takes a village food pantry. We're gonna go buy that food this week and feed over two hundred people with it. Um, Jennifer says they're waiting in the car, so they'll do the activity later. Yeah, Jennifer, will go back and watch it. Oh, Jennifer's son was Mason Flexi Boy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And 
and, and that was a cool part of it too, was kind of being able to put a face with the name. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love it. I, it was a blast. I lip synced to to um, Britney Spears for my first time. And um, I think I did pretty good, even though Adam and uh, Alex did kind of like, you know, outshadow, outshine me. But that's all right. <laughs> Didn't you guys do two? Yeah. And then we ended it with all the teens and Kathy from It Takes a Village oh, doing okay. Lady Gaga's um, Born, this uh, way. Born This Way. I'm mm -hmm. like, what was the name of that song? <laughs> It was so cool. And uh, my friend Ruth, actually, hi, Ruth. Ruth's watching, too. Um, her and her husband were like, just, they were like, well, they're the ones that were like, we'll give $100 if Alex will join. And I could see Alex down below going, okay. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> Casey said it was a great night. Casey's child was Keats that uh, was yeah. one of the co-hosts with us. So yeah. awesome. Awesome. All right. So um, if you're just joining us, um, grab some crayons, a few colors, and some paper, and we're going to do this little activity. Yes. So this one I call, like, favorite things. So I, I kind of got the inspiration from the song, you know, not the Ariana Grande one, but the Julie Andrews one. But <laughs> <laughs> from the sound of music. And, and oh. how in that song, she literally is – Wait, 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 you just, I said Mary Poppins. I'm really <laughs> bad with musicals. I don't know. <laughs> no, the sound of music. <laughs> it's it's the, in that song, she's talking about these are a few of my favorite things. And the whole song is literally coping skills. Like, it's all about when I'm having a bad day, when I'm feeling blue. I simply say to myself all these things, you know, the whiskers on kittens and, you know, rose petals and things like that. And they're the most random things, which is, again, the whole point a lot of times is that idea. It's those little things that really, really count. Mm -hmm. So this one is kind of a take on that. So the first thing that you're going to do is draw a giant, like as big as you can make it on your paper, giant, giant, giant heart, okay? All right. Wow. My lopsided heart. It almost went off the paper. That's good. That's good. It, it goes from child to teenager to the adult, like, perfect heart there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now you're going to take one of your colors. I don't care which one, whichever one you want. And the first thing that we're going to do is come up, and you can either write them down in your heart. You can write them wherever you want. You can draw pictures. Again, I don't care. All of your favorite people in your life. So it could be, you know, your mom, your dad, your partner, um, nieces, nephews, a teacher, a counselor, anybody. Just fill it fill it up however you want. Now remember, leave some room because we're going to be writing a lot of things. So however you want to write it in there, but maybe write it a little bit smaller. <laughs> uh, so how many of them again? Does it however matter? However many you want. So if you're joining us um, while we're writing, we are doing a little activity um, with several color crayons or markers uh, or color pencils. And you're writing a heart on your page. And then you're going to be writing some names in of people that are close to you. People that are close to your heart. Um, and again, welcome. Please share this with people. We welcome if you've never joined us before. We've been doing this every week for 300 million months now, it seems like. <laughs> okay, so just to give you guys an idea, I have on mine, my mom, my dad, my best friend, I have my 
Big A, which is mm, there we go. Big A, which is my my oldest niece, Annalise. I have little A, which is my little niece, Adelaide. I have my nephew, little Peter, because my family has four Peters. Yep, we did that. Um, and then I also have Milo and Martini, which are my dogs. Mm. And you don't have to put your dogs in people, but I do. Awesome. I'm like trying to narrow it down. There's a lot in my head. That's good. I put mine in the corner. <laughs> I'm not going right at the top of the yeah. part. I've yeah. done this a lot, so I've I've um, expanded how I do it <laughs> every time. It's <laughs> I've got my hubby, my kiddos, my grandma, my Rose Dynasty crew that you're seeing right now. Um, my BBFs, which is a take on BFF, but it, we're family friendly here. Um, any friendly folks I come across. Uh, and then all my animals, Captain Sally, Venus, Sandy, and Shadow. Do I need to share too? Only if you want to. Only if you want to. Uh, I put my husband, Dolly Parton. Yes, I've met her a couple times. Um, my couple of my best friends, Evie. Of course, gotta love Evie, my parents, and of course, my Rose Dynasty folks. Okay, now you're gonna take another color, and this time we're gonna come up with a list of your favorite places. Oh, oh, oh. oh Lord have mercy. While we're doing this, if you all wanna go down in the comments and list people or list names, you're welcome to. You don't have to. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Does it have to be places we've been? No. While we're doing this too, if you all want to ask questions or you have anything you want to say, please feel free to comment. Okay. So I'll share mine just to give ideas. I have, I'm not that good at this part, Disney. I have Habaneros, which is one of my favorite Mexican restaurants to go with my friends and just have adult beverages. Um, oh, the Redwood Forest in California. Uh, Monterey Bay in California, which is where the whales live and where Finding Dory was filmed. And that's where I want to like eventually live my afterlife at. Um, my house. Um, and then the middle of the ocean. like on That would be fun. I put Disney Universal, uh, Salem, Mass, St. Augustine, Florida. Um, pretty much any forest. I'm a big, big uh, foresty, outdoorsy person. My garden, my home. And then dreaming of Ireland, Italy, Finland, and Australia. Ooh, y'all, let's com. I want to see some comments for favorite places for y'all too. Um, so mine, <laughs> mine is the Smoky Mountains. Mm. If anybody knows me, that is my second home. California, I miss it dearly. Um, the Miss Rose Dynasty pageant is still one of my favorite places to be. Australia, Disney, of course. Mm -hmm. And my new favorite restaurant here in Lakeland, Uncle Nick's Deli, New York Deli. Like, Ooh. I, yeah, I probably have paid several salaries there already. <laughs> um, <laughs> love it. Love it. And there's just probably so many more. What about y'all? Everybody watching? What are some, some of your favorite places? Yeah, even if you're at work or you don't have the stuff at home, you can play along. And yeah, list stuff. Absolutely. And then you can go back and watch replay and do it and, and write it down. <laughs> yes. I feel like there's so many more I could list. Oh, there's probably a thousand I could list. That's what came to mind first. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the next one or you want to give it a minute? Uh, let's do the next one and then we'll okay. see if the comment, comments okay. come through. So now you're going to take another color. Oh, there it is. And this time, this one is one of the ones that people look at me and get a little annoyed with me about. Sorry. Uh, favorite things. Favorite things. Things. 
So, you know, we're, we're really doing like kind of a grammar lesson here too. <laughs> I don't know if you guys realize that person place. Oh, yeah. I yeah. caught that. I caught that. I caught that. <laughs> uh, Ruth says New York City and Washington, D.C. and Disney. Woohoo! I've had the opportunity of being all those places with her. Yep. Doing amazing things. Yeah, New DC York, was amazing too. Yeah. New York and like DC is very dear to her heart. That's so awesome. Things. Things. Wow. People are going to look at me cross eyed when they see my list. I'm just saying. Yeah, all well, right. We know, we know <laughs> you, but. I, I, <laughs> this is a judgment free zone. Oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> Handwriting is real bad today. Wow, I'm like stumped. Jennifer says. Disney, River, and Home. Ruth says shopping. That's <laughs> right. Shopping. We're not there yet. Shopping is a different category. <laughs> I actually was thinking that too. Um, Do you want me to share you share mine? Yes. Okay. Um, I have dogs, books, music, my iPhone, um, wine. Not gonna lie. Um, I put things, oh, my mini ears, all my mini ears. I got you. Um, my Harry Potter collection. Um, books, music, I think I said that. Makeup, oh, fuzzy socks and fuzzy pajama pants. Ooh. Okay, so here's mine. I got Nightmare for Christmas. I know you all are surprised. Um, horror, zombies, insects, if you remember I collect those. Um, animals, I loved, I just love animals. Uh, books, crafts, painting, Harry Potter, my Mickey ears, bone art, coloring, my leggings. If you've ever seen me out in public, uh, I have enough leggings to never wear the same one for about two years. Um, and then pictures of my memories. Oh, I, I only got a few. And this is, I feel so weird saying these. Um, at my iPhone. I have my iPhone. My car, because I can travel and drive, because I don't fly. Puerto Rican food is absolutely my top of my top three favorite foods in the world. Um, and Ru Ruth can contest with you, because I love eating Puerto Rican food with her. And then cotton candy. Oh, that's a good one. There you go. Yeah. Um, Ruth said libraries, a winery, museums, Ooh. Christmas music. Uh, Ruth will listen to Christmas music in July if we let her. Yes. Um, Lights and trees, and then Jennifer says animals and Halloween. Yes, yes, Halloween for sure. Uh, Ruth, yeah. Ruth, my cousin was texting me earlier about he's already getting updates about the countdown to Christmas on Hallmark. So you're not alone. He's with you. <laughs> she loved Christmas. Okay, do you guys want to do the last one now? Yep. Yeah. Right. So your last color. <laughs> Remember how I said shopping was a different category? Um, because now we're doing activities. Okay. Favorite activities. So things with the I-N-G at the end. Again, I probably should have been an English teacher. That's all right. Ruth said she's already <laughs> listening to Christmas music. Yeah. All right. So activities. Can I start? Yes. So traveling, helping, fundraising, hugging, inspiring, loving, 
and singing. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> go ahead. I've got crafting, reading, collecting, walking through the woods, learning, listening and talking, advocating and traveling. Nice. I have traveling, um, <laughs> being with my being with friends and family, hanging out with my dogs, cooking, reading, listening to music, dancing. I've added lip singing because I'm I'm gonna add that to my life. Um <laughs> Learning, and I my heart is so full that I'm trying to find where I put them all at. <laughs> okay. Mine's halfway learning. there. <laughs> Mine's halfway there. Okay. Um, are so, you guys, are you guys, okay, and then really? we'll do we'll do the fun. This this wasn't even the fun part yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Ruth said shopping, eating, walking, sightseeing, and talking with friends. And Jennifer said learning and giving. Yes. Very good. All right, what's the fun part? <laughs> okay, so now, either on the back of your paper, or if you want to do it on a separate paper, you can do it either way. What you get to do is you're going to draw a picture with yourself, with one of your favorite people, at one of your favorite places, with one of your favorite things, doing one of your favorite activities. Oh, Lordy, have mercy. <laughs> Stick figures work, right? Uh, that's all I know how to do, and I am an like, awesome stick figure person. Great. I have to pick what I'm going to do. I tried drawing pants, and I made it look like a hula skirt. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Okay. So one of my favorite people, one of my favorite places. Oh, I got an idea. I even drew my man bun. Yes. I haven't decided yet, still. So. This is fun. Welcome to everybody joining. If you're wondering what are these people doing, not looking at <laughs> talking, uh, we're talking about self care and we are doing a little activity. We drew a heart and we drew, um, remember what we did? So we drew our fate, wrote our favorite people, we wrote our favorite places, uh, our favorite things, and our favorite things to do. And then on the back of the paper, we're now drawing a picture of us with our favorite person, one of our favorite people. And our favorite place is doing our fa one of our favorite things. And we're talking about this as a coping skill. Just kind of giving your mind a break, giving your mind an ease of all this stuff that's going on in the world. Um, coping skills are very, very important. And we've talked about this for many, many, many weeks now of ideas of different coping skills. This may be work for you. This may not. Um, but it's definitely something to try. And during this time, we're definitely learning a lot about ourselves and a lot of these skill, coping skills. I know myself that I've learned over the last several weeks that have actually helped me. So uh, we really appreciate all of you joining. Um, hello, Stacy. Welcome. I miss you. I see you joined and all these other people. Thank you everybody for participating and telling us your favorite things. Um, and yeah, I need to find, I'm changing colors even though it wasn't on there. So. Okay. I'll share with y'all mine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so there's me and my hubby with me wearing my Mickey ears, walking through the woods, 
and checking out the animals. I got a butterfly, a little turtle and a snake. Awesome. I am a crafter, not a, not a, not an artist in this fashion. <laughs> I do hair. I don't draw. Yeah, this is the extent. And my husband's got his big beard and bald head, which Lindsay can make sure has to have to. Person, <laughs> place, thing. Um, Ruth says she yeah. wrote, Ruth wrote hers out. She okay. said with uh, Cerise shopping. That's her daughter listening to Christmas music. Uh, getting hot chocolate at Starbucks and looking for Christmas decorations, possibly all the above at Disney with Jason. Oh, we spent a lot of time drinking hot chocolate and watching Christmas movies. And that's awesome. Mine. Go ahead. Okay. Nope. You. Okay. That's the castle. There we go. Okay. That's the castle. And that's me and my best friend Morgan wearing our mini ears. And I added Mickey balloons because I forgot that those are one of my favorite things. And we're watching the fireworks. Yay! Okay. And mine is so special. <laughs> this is oh, me look. and one of my best friends, Austin, sharing blue raspberry cotton candy <laughs> in the mountains. Y'all love my trees? I threw a Christmas tree in there. Love it. Awesome. <laughs> now, do you want to know the best part about this? What is it? It's kind of like the rainbow, where you can do this again and again and again and again and again and again and again. So that's the that's the part about this that I love the most is you draw this simple heart and you take the time to self reflect and really identify those things that just bring you joy and bring you contentment and all of those things. And then by drawing it out on a picture, you could write a story, you could write a song, you could paint, you could sculpt, you could, you know, I mean, do a skit. Like there's so many different ways that you can use this. And my favorite part is again, you can change it up. Like I, I, I showed mine is going to Disney with my best friend, Morgan. I could have very easily also have done, you know, hanging out with my nieces and my nephews, cooking and listening to music. Right. I mean, and, and it's never ending the possibilities. But again, just in that moment for two seconds, I was at Disney walking down Main Street, yeah. smelling the popcorn, smelling all the, you know, the baked treats and things like that, seeing all the lights. You know, you guys are talking about Christmas. You were at Christmas for two minutes. You were in your head yeah. at Christmas time. And right now with everything going on, these mental breaks, these these abilities to literally go somewhere else, mm -hmm. life saving, life saving. And and for me, what just hit me too is is I felt that experience for all of us. Like I felt I, when you, when I looked at your picture, I experienced that. When I looked at Patty's, I experienced. That. I could see the the animals and the and the butterflies, and I could just see her with her Mickey ears on. And when Ruth was sharing about the Christmas and, and getting yep. hot chocolate at Starbucks and being at Disney with me, you know, and even looking at mine again, going, I can't wait to do this again. Mm -hmm. I love that. And I think even doing it as a group activity, even yep. doing it with your friends or your family, absolutely, heck, get together on a Skype call and drink some wine and do this. You know, yes. you never know what you're going to experience. And I, and it's, it's for me, what it just hit me is it's, it's a form of journaling as we've all talked about mm -hmm. several times. It's another mm -hmm. form of journaling of just, putting your heart, putting your mind down on something and breaking away for a yeah. few moments. I had a break from all the stuff that's going on in my head, all of what I have to do in an hour, where I have to be. And, you know, it really takes that time. And I, I, again, we can't reiterate how important self-care is, even if it's, it took us 10 minutes, 10 minutes to do that. How important can we just take 10 minutes a day? And I'm guilty all the way around from not doing it, just that 10 minutes, whether it be drawing, whether it be meditation, whether it be listen to Christmas music every day, if that's yep. what's gonna yep. help give you that peace and that, yep. that comfort, absolutely. If you pray, if you, whatever you do, the few moments of that each day, I think can bring not only so much joy, but a lot of peace and care in your life. Yes, and, and I call it catching our breath, where like this 10 minutes you get the little, right? But when you experience those things we just drew, you get the, <sighs> but we need those. 
throughout our day, throughout yeah. our week. Yeah. You know, and, and Lindsay and I have talked about it all the time is with coping skills, find your jam, yeah. find your thing. Like you see, everyone had different stuff on their list. Yeah. We are not all in the same little pretty box with a pretty little bow. We are in different boxes with different bows and they're just as beautiful because yeah. that's what makes us us, right? Like you heard me say, people who haven't watched before are going to see this is weird and you go, oh, we know you, right? So you, we all have our own jam. Um, and you'll also see that many of the activities we do, we hit multiple sensories. Yep systems right like he yeah. said I, I could see myself there i could see the fireworks i could smell the popcorn i could feel the ears on my head right i can i forgot about my balloon i gotta hold that balloon so when you're doing any type of coping skill know that hitting those senses is so important um like you know i know last night when i was like frazzled doing a bunch of paperwork i came in and my, my husband was baking bread in that moment i was just like uh right? Because I could smell that smell. So yeah. have those things that hit those senses, whether it's walking. Again, we're still hitting that sensor. You got to hit that. You got to see those sights. You know, if you're crafting and molding, you're using that tactile, you know, you're feeling. So come up with more and more of that list. It's, it, it's going to be so vital. You know, it's vital anyway, but especially kind of like what we talked about before in these unprecedented times, <laughs> we need every single second we can get to take a brain break. Absolutely. And, you know, I first I was I, honestly I first I was kind of embarrassed when I looked at my list of my favorite things like actual tangible things, because the first thing was my iPhone. And at first I was like, wow, that's kind of like, nope, basic. Super. You feel like but, that's superficial. Yeah, it felt superficial. Right. But when I thought about it is, is this is how I connect with people. Exactly. Yep. You this call them, you email touch. them, exactly. you know, you're, you're video calling them or, yeah. or playing a game, you know, yeah. playing on your app, giving yourself that distraction, exactly. coping skill. So the amount, the amount of like purpose that this little tiny thing gives us is, it is important. And it is, a, it, you know, I mean, and again, fuzzy socks, like. For a lot of people, or I mean, I know, like as Patty's saying, like some people would think that the things that she's into are weird. Mm -hmm. I also know that a lot of things that pe I'm into, people would think are very juvenile. And you know what? That's cool. Yep, I like it. So it's cool. That's what we say, I mean, you don't care. <laughs> listen, people think it's weird that I dress up like a woman and entertain yeah. kids. And but you know it, what? We're doing it. We're doing something good with it. So it's one of those. It's one of those situations where a lot of times when someone says. Oh my gosh, that's like so weird. Or oh my gosh, that's so blah blah blah. Fill in the blank, whatever. I go, yeah, and let's talk about mm -hmm. it. Let's talk, yeah. let's have those conversations because I can and, give you really good reasons as to why these things do have value in my life. And again, that's opening up dialogue. Listen. And anybody who's watched us for a while knows that we all get along. I know you guys don't see us backstage. We all come from very different backgrounds. <laughs> different areas, likes and dislikes, but, but that's the beauty of it. Yeah. Right. Like mama always says acceptance. Yeah. So, you know, don't, don't be concerned. Don't be worried if it seems superficial. I tell a lot of my parents and youth I work with, think of the cell phone like a Leatherman. It is a multi-tool. Exactly. <laughs> be a boy scout. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, it really is. So, you know, don't be afraid of those things. If that is your coping skill and that is your jam, accept it, own it, <laughs> you know, love it for what it is. Absolutely. And I, you know, you, you said the word acceptance and I, and I, I just always have to reiterate this. I, what I believe with all my heart and I found no documentation, but my experience that true acceptance is embracing the commonalities and respecting the differences. Exactly. And the key word is respecting the differences. Yeah. Um, and I guarantee everyone that's watching and even us three, even though we, I consider us friends. I mean, this is, this is created for us. And we talk about this as a great friendship that's happened, mm -hmm. even though I've not met either one of you in physical person yet, <laughs> you know, but every week we look forward to this, but I guarantee you, we all have different viewpoints on different things yeah. and we can yeah. respect that just like yeah. anybody watching, whatever the, the difference is, the key is respect. And, and I, and, and I'll, and I'll continue to preach this too, is conversations about it. You can't, you can't, you can't respect someone really 
understand respecting someone without having a conversation to at least try to understand. You don't have to agree with them, but you have to try to understand. Yep. And I do that all the time with people I work with, with people I'm, I'm involved with in life. We don't get along. I mean, parents, friends, family, you know, not, not so we don't get on, we don't agree, but we get along. Exactly. Right. So I think that's really, really important. And I think that that kind of a good way to segue into, yeah. you know, us, us kind of wrapping up today. Yeah. Um, I do want to give at least another minute or so. Anyone that is watching, if you have a comment or question, um, we're going to give it about another two or three minutes and then we're going to move on for the day. And um, yeah, so we'll give that. Um, also really quick again, watch our story times on Sundays at two o'clock. We did move this to 12 o'clock on Thursdays. Chit chat with mama uh, third Wednesday night. I'll be chatting with Jennifer Foster from the one Orlando Alliance. Do what you can to help your neighbor. Do what you can to love your neighbor. Um, even if it's just a kind word, that kind word can make a difference. So is there anything you two want to add before we start to move on for today? I just want to say thank you to everyone who is watching, who has continuously joined. Um, again, we, we always hope that, and we talk about this backstage and we've talked about this before, that you are gaining a lot from this, you know, that you are getting that, that brain break that we all need in life. Um, I call it, pre-COVID, even pre-COVID times, we needed this more so even now. So, you know, um, share this with your friends. Like, you know, if you couldn't do the activity now, do it later. Um, you know, if, if it helps you think of something else that might be helpful, share that, share that yeah. in the comments. So maybe we could talk about that next time. Um, you know, I, I, I'm humbled and honored that you all continue to join us and that you're here. Um, so I appreciate all of you. And I would say, you know, as, as much as Jason's emphasizing that kindness and that, that love for your neighbor, also do that for yourself. Be yes. kind to yourself, love yourself, find that self-compassion. We don't have the right answers. Just don't. There's a lot of big questions that we don't have a answer to, let alone the right answer to. So educate yourself, ask questions, have conversations but make sure you're staying safe and putting yourself in a safe position. Absolutely. And I, I'll piggyback on that. Ask questions. Be yeah. ready for any answer. Yeah. Be yeah. ready for any, any answer. Cause yeah. it could be anything. It could be something that you despise, mm -hmm. but respect that answer because none of us know exactly where somebody is personally and emotionally. None of us do. We may have walked in similar shoes. We may have walked in similar places, but we're not, that person and none of us really truly understand the emotional state that somebody's in. And I continue to want to express, be kind, love people. And as always, I love you all. Please check out our pre-recorded stuff, follow us, share it. I can't tell you how grateful I am to you two ladies and to everyone that joins us. And as always, never forget how love accepted and wanted you are. We will see you all next week. Bye. Bye.